Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play This Guy 2! Let's see if we can find Axel around here at the Red Waterfalls. Hey, Mr. Stupidhead! Where's your candy? Well, they got it at the shops for like, what, 10 hell or something? Yeah! As children of this day and age, you should be happy that we let you kidnap us for candy. So make with the goods! That's it? Actually, I think candy costs a bit more than the mint gum does. You should be thrilled! I'm letting you share the stage with me, Axel the Dark Hero! What are you even kidnapping them for anyway? What, like a ransom or something? Why should we care about some hasbin? You kidnapped us to trap them! Oh, well, yeah, that too. Yeah. Did you really think it was smart to make him mad? Evidently. doesn't make much difference to my secret plan. What is your plan? I bet it is just a stupid trap. If you came up with it, it must be stupid. Probably. Ouch! You brats are mean. I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Well, yeah, children can be pretty cruel like that. You'll learn to fear dark heroes when you suffer so many ding-dong ditches and prank phone calls, you'll never be able to sleep. <laughs> you don't scare me. My big brother is really strong. Yeah, he can deal more damage to high-level enemies. And you'll be sorry when he gets here. My big brother's going to defeat Overlord Xenon. Huh? He's gonna try to beat Overlord Xenon? Isn't that kind of delusional? Yeah, but he's a JRPG protagonist. What did you expect? I know what I'm gonna do, too. Overlord Xenon's daughter is gonna make me her servant. Put me on the payroll. Why not? Why is that stupid? Princess is amazing and, and sweet and pretty and wow. And murderous. Stop! If you have to fight, I'll referee. But once you're done, you better both shut up, okay? Maybe you could just, I don't know, gag them? Oh, Axel, darling, sorry I'm late. I brought snacks for everybody. That doesn't sound like a very good combination. That's not fair. That's my favorite, too. Shut up! If you both want it, physical violence is the only way to solve this. With guns. Did you hear that, Tardo? You want to fight me? No way. Oh, I can't beat you. You're too mean. Well, that's obvious. Take the Meatopia chocolate bar. Living demons is tough. <laughs> Thank you, Tardo. That's more like it. This is just like watching those old sibling rivalry films in high school. <laughs> Demons have high school? Well, I guess so. Hmm. I don't see them here either. That Axel is a cur. When I find him, I will make him truly suffer. Kidnapping young children is beyond outrageous. Such an indecency cannot be forgiven. But we're demons. We're going to be young for quite a while. Wait a minute. Why are you so angry? Isn't kidnapping kids as common a chore for demons as doing laundry? Pretty much, yeah. Let's just say the princess has lived a very sheltered life, huh? Besides, she has never done laundry either. Oh, yeah. You both have no clue what you're talking about. Taro and Hanako are my servants. I cannot abide someone stealing them. When the hell did my brother and sister become your servants? They volunteered. Huh. I guess you really are different from most other demons. What do you mean? She's trying to enslave everyone. I thought all demons were the same, but I can see that's not true. Well, all these demons are the same. I heard there's like a little trick you can do in this fight. Something with combining all these enemies together. And, well, we got a new Geo effect that any de any enemies that are on these tiles, their level will, will increase by 10%. You can get, like, a level 9,999 9 Nikomata and then throw it into the base panel and somehow capture it. I, 
but that only works in the PS2 version. In the remakes, they changed the monster capturing requirements, so, and I don't know precisely how that trick works, because I've never really wanted to do that. Okay, so, first things first, we want to take out that Geo symbol, so that way they don't gain so many levels, or any at all, and it'll damage them a little bit. This is a really good battle to get Krona up to speed, or anyone who's low leveled, because these enemies are pretty low leveled for this point in the game. But the idea was that we're not supposed to be able to get up here and destroy that thing so quickly, because they probably, I guess they didn't figure you'd have three slippers on someone to take care of all that. So anyway, okay, so we got here. So let's see. No, that's not what I want to do. Let's go up there. I need a little help throwing Krona in range of the enemies that I'm concerned about. Okay, there we go. Let's go. No, 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 no. No, wait. Just go. There we are. Go over there. Hmm. Yeah, I think you'll be fine, but... Hmm. You know, let's just defend for now. Yeah, yeah, let's do it that way. I don't... Well, yeah, I canceled the defending there. But yeah, he might be able... He'll be able to counterattack, so... Yeah, that'll be fine. I just don't want him to die on the first turn. And... Okay, I think we're good. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, you learned that new wind spell for... The Lloyd there. Ow. But yeah, why aren't you using the the second tier spell for him and that is true mega wind is slightly stronger than the regular wind spell but because i've been leveling up the wind spell it's almost as strong and it has more range so like the first game i prefer to just stick to one tier of the spells during the main storyline and eventually i'll what is it Eventually, I'll learn the other spells in the post-game, but for right now, I'm not worried about them. So let's just soften the enemy up there just a little bit. There you go. One, an another thing about the Nikomatas you might have noticed, because they were dodging Krona a lot, is that they have quite a bit of speed, so they can be a little tricky to take out for him, but I do have the emblems on him, so that certainly helps a lot. And as we're getting levels, he's going to get a lot more HP, so I need Lloyd to help keep his HP up there. Now, you want to be careful moving forward from where I am now, because we got this Beast Tamer there who has Impaler, which has a really high height tolerance, and he could hit Krona like, if Chrono was here instead, he could hit him from all the way up there. So, yeah, you want to watch out for that. So, yeah, just soften her up again. Another thing you could do is you could send some of your party members on the upper bridge there. But I don't think that's necessary. I just want to get Krona up to speed in this fight. One thing about, one drawback about heavy knights is, well, because they are heavy, they don't have a whole lot of innate movement stat. So, once I get done with bringing him up to speed, I definitely want to equip him with a whole bunch of those, what were they? Uh, the slippers that I had before. And also, eventually, one of the reasons why I'm not doing a whole lot of in reincarnations, as opposed to the first game, is because I want to better take advantage of increased movement, or the increased movement, Bill. And also, because unlike the first game, the, re the higher tiers of jab classes don't have increased movement or counterattack rates. So, really, during the main storyline, there's not much of a point to, you know, grinding up the all the different tiers of the spells. 
or not spells, uh, uh, job classes. Because, yeah, I mean, you get a little more stats, but during the main storyline, that's not really a big issue. Okay, just slowly move forward here. There we go. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Yeah, I don't have him up to speed, so he's not tanking too well. But fortunately now, I've got enough levels for him that... Uh, he can one-shot them anyway with Impaler, so I don't need to risk Rosalind overkilling them. Let's see. Yeah, let's just go up there. I like to keep the spots behind Krona there open for using Impaler and stuff like that. I'm probably going to move Krona forward a little more again, even though the Beastmaster up top will still be able to hit me from above, but I, I want to draw these guys out now and finish this battle sometime today. But yeah, you got all those flippers, that just pretty much takes care of any challenge you'd have during this boss fight. Fortunately, when it comes to using your jump stat, it doesn't work like your movement stat, where it gets used up every time you move, or jump in this case. As long as the difference in height from the top to the bottom there is less than your jump stat, you can just move up there. I mean, it's almost like having a more height in this game. Holy cow! But yeah, that's another benefit of the shoes there. Because for, for like characters like Roslyn or my Skull who don't have a really good jump stat, they can it can help make up for that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think I've got enough, but let's just use a lightning spear for the two grass. Maybe I could have let all the enemies get like one of those level ups from the Geo symbol there, but, well, yeah, I didn't want to take a risk. So what's going on? Is he making a call to us for the ransom? Who are you calling? That's a big uh, cell phone. Hello? Yeah, it's me. How's everyone doing? I just wanted to make sure you're all okay. It's not like I'm lonely or anything. No, of course not. Oh, and about that money I'm sending home? <laughs> There's a little problem with sending it now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm kind of dead. What? It's me, Axel. Can't you tell from my voice? What? No, I'm not dead. That was a mistake. It's all part of some conspiracy with the TV network. Yeah, whatever works for you. I'm telling you the truth, Ma. Don't you trust me? You're a demon. Fine, I'll be back on TV soon. Then you'll see that I'm still alive, so just keep watching TV, okay? Just wait and see, Ma. I'll be even more famous when I return. More like infamous. But you are a dark hero, so... Okay, one more to go, but let's get rid of the stuff that I just won. Yeah, unfortunately, the stages during the main storyline they don't really give you that much good stuff there oh well but anyway okay let's see how are we doing let's see what happens if i equip all these yeah that's good enough we got more than enough hp and sp is good enough there too but yeah you want to hold on to those for later because i'm still going to be using them for other reincarnations I think the next one that I'm going to be doing is with Tiana there when I get her bow skill up to level 5 and that'll unlock the bill for the archer job class and that'll be really nice for her. One nice thing about archers in this game is that their range with bows is increased by 1 and that is huge. So they'll have as much range as guns do but they can... Well, they have the ability to not need to shoot in a straight line all the time. Taro, Hanako. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's a dub. Yippee! 
You don't sound very distressed. So, if you want the brats unharmed, just hand the princess over to me. Oh, and uh, then you have to let me beat you up. <laughs> that doesn't sound very fair. Huh. What's your scheme? What happens if we just beat you up first? You're the one with the scheme. I see how you're plotting to use the princess as a hostage so you can defeat Overlord Zenon. But I will put an end to your plans. Once I've rescued the Overlord's daughter, I'll be back in the spotlight. I just wanted to bring her back to her father just in time for me to murder him and traumatize her for life. The entire universe will witness my victory. It'll spark my glorious comeback. So, ready to fight there? Well, he does use fists as his main weapon type. But remember, I won't be responsible for what happens to those brats if you don't let me beat you up. That's... Then how the hell is this a fair fight? What if we refuse, huh? What if we throw you out like garbage in front of the entire universe? How will you come back from that? Well, we've already tried killing him twice now. <laughs> That's what my secret plan is for. Even if I lose, I can use the latest special effect technology to edit the footage. I don't think it works that way. No matter how badly I lose or how much I beg for my life, I can fix it all in post. I'll have the greatest victory scene ever. <laughs> what do you know? My cunning trap had such a great twist that you're all lost for words. Kind of reminds me of Seymour's laugh. No, we just don't want to waste our breath. And he's just as pathetic, too. I shall grant you no mercy! Kidnapping innocent children just to get attention is unforgivable! I shall cleanse the world of you myself! Huh? Why are you so angry? I'm trying to rescue you, you know? How do you know where to even take her? Fool! I do not need to be rescued! I am here of my own free will! I am no one's hostage! What the hell? Princesses supposed to wait for their knight in shining armor to rescue them whenever they get captured? No, just plumbers. You idiot! That only happens in your feeble imagination. And other video games. Then what are we gonna do for my show? Kick your ass. There has been a change of plans. How does series finale Axel dies rising in pain sound to you? Maybe we can inflict poison on him. But that's not how I want my series to end! Can I at least have a happy ending? Does that ever happen in anime? Sorry, we're all out of happy endings today. We only have ones that end with horrible beatings. Uh-oh. I know that music. Just remember, every punch is for Taro and Hanako. It's the pirate music! That's not until post-game, viewers. But can we defeat Axel and rescue Taro and Hanako? Find out next time on the Chapter 4 finale of Let's Play Disgaea 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.